Hello to you, well it's Scott Pekin, I'm CEO and founder of Wealth Migrate and it's time for our weekly Wealth Insight. Yes, it is Easter Friday and yes, we're in lockdown all over the world. And so I thought that today with this magnificent uh, view behind me, I thought that I would focus on something. You know, I've got my wallet here and I started my first uh, full-time business in 2004. In fact, it was uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day, March the 17th, 2004. And when I started, the day I started, a friend of mine gave me a, a little poem. And I've kept this poem in my wallet um, ever since I started. And I, um, I've actually turned it into an entrepreneur code. And I keep this in my wallet every single uh, day. And what I'll do is the picture I'm going to put up, which will be the picture on YouTube, is actually the picture of me finishing Comrades. Now, I ran Comrades. As a Durban boy, I always wanted to run Comrades and never never knew I was going to grow up to be a a little fat hooker <laughs> and uh, I certainly didn't have the body of a, of a Kenyan uh, athlete and it was a it was a dream to run comrades and when I did the up run I started cramping from 31 kilometers and I managed to make it all the way to 63 kilometers but I finally gave up now it's the longest ultra marathon uh, day race uh, it's 85 kilometers which is about 65 miles and um it's so a 30 k's with cramping, but when I when I cramped, I literally couldn't I couldn't go two meters basically, and I finally had to give up, which was really hard for me because mind over matter is something that uh, you know I always believed in, but the body literally gave up. You know, I came back the next year and I finished the down run uh, with a, uh, with about 22 minutes to spare before the end of uh, the cutoff, and a year later I did the up run and uh, I finished with four minutes to spare, and I've actually got a picture of me with this. Uh, with this little code as I pass the finish line, because that's how important it is to me that when you say you're going to do something, you do it. And so I wanted to read to you this entrepreneur code, because I think at the moment with the lockdown and all the negativity that's out there is that, you know, mindset is so important. And this entrepreneur code, and if you're interested, I can share this entrepreneur code. Uh, if you put a comment uh, below in the social media, I'll figure out a way to send you a link of it. Rules are made to be broken. Are you doing something to change the world? Do what you love and have fun doing it. Fail fast, fail often, fail forward. Your mind creates your destiny and your life. Nurture it. Impossible is a crazy idea until it's done. Chaos is your best friend. In chaos, there's opportunity. Very pertinent for the moment. Problems equal business opportunities. Find how to solve and add value. To risk nothing is to risk everything. No one, no is just one step closer to getting yes. Be constantly learning and never, ever give up. Now, I want to repeat number six. Impossible is a crazy idea until it's done. So what's so interesting to me is that we're in the middle of lockdown. Everyone's got opinions. They're saying that you should do this and you should do that. And, you know, people have opinions on what I should be doing with my time and what I should be focusing on. And, you know, and, and what's so interesting is that people from the sidelines always have opinions and, you know, you know, it's amazing with spectators in sport, whether it's rugby or soccer, you know, the spectators in the, in the stadium, they always know everything. They, they, they're wiser than anyone. They're wiser than the coach. They're wiser than all the players on the pitch. And yet, I believe that this poem sums it up because impossible is a crazy idea until you've done it. And there's that saying that, you know, by, by Steve Jobs, that uh, be careful of the crazy ones because they're the ones that say they're going to change the world and they actually do. And nothing has ever been done before until it's done. You know, running a four minute mile was impossible until it was done. Climbing Everest was never done before until it was done. Flying an airplane had never been done before until it was done. Empowering the 99% to be able to invest like the top 1% has never been done before. But there are people and companies that are making measurable progress to solving that. And just in this last week, you know, getting our global compliance, getting our global wallets, uh, speaking to over 2000 people live on webinars, we're making progress. And so what I would say to anyone that has an opinion from the stadium is listen to this poem. The credit belongs to the person who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes short again and again, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions and spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly. Far better it is to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy much nor suffer much, 
because they lay in the grey twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. So to all you entrepreneurs out there, to all you investors, to all you people that are aspiring to a dream, go for it. And let the naysayers read that poem and recognize that you are in the arena. That's my wealth insight on this uh, Easter weekend. Have a wonderful Easter weekend. Uh, if you are interested, join our inner circle. Now is when you need community. Now is when you need leadership. You need community. You need knowledge. And most importantly, chaos is your best friend. Now is when there's opportunity. And you need to be able to take advantage of that. Click on the link below. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to the channel. Please share it with your friends. You know, we want to empower a billion people. The lockdowns are getting extended. People need access to education, inspiration, and most importantly, they need to be able to unlock their mind so that they can unlock their freedom. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely weekend. I look forward to your comments below. And if you'd like a copy of, of this uh, Entrepreneur Code with that poem, I'll figure out a way to share it if you, if you share it and copy me in on social media. Cheers.